All right, it is the biggest video game trailer of the year so far, and here to talk about Battlefield 1, which is now a game you can play. It is here at E3. Uh, please welcome the Vice President and General Manager of DICE, Patrick Bach. Patrick, uh, we've talked for many years about all things Battlefield, uh, and this game, when you announced it, really just, I mean, took over the Internet. Everyone got so excited about it. And I think in part because, you know, so many of these shooters have been sort of the same types of games mm. for so long, and you guys uh, made the, I'm sure, what was a controversial decision at first internally to sort of say, let's go yes. back to sort of <laughs> World War One. Let's move, let's pull the technology out of this game yes. in many ways. Um, and I know, you know, Patrick Soderlund and your bosses said, oh, at first, you know, we weren't sure we wanted to go in this mm. direction. Where did the idea of like WW and where did it come from? Because you guys had done, you know, 1942 yeah. Vietnam. Uh, I think it, it actually came came from many different directions. I think the you know game is more than the the setting, right? You right. Know, it, it's so much more. Uh, and sometimes you think that you know the game pitch is the setting pitch. Yeah. Setting is important, and it's hopefully the thing that propels the game. But more importantly, I think that the game needs to, as a whole needs to kind of fit together. Yeah. So we had plenty of ideas, and you mentioned the, the whole like. Technology is just getting more and more complicated. Yeah. You know, we have lock-on system and lasers and all kinds of stuff in, in the games, and it actually turns into a very stale environment. All games kind of lives in the same realm. Yeah. So we we wanted to build a game that was more visceral, more back to the roots of what Battlefield really stands for. Uh, you know, finding out ways of of making it more immersive and visceral. You know, go back and go all in on destruction and. Yeah and all these dynamic, dynamic events um, with weather and you know, all kinds of stuff. And then marry that with a setting that kind of propels that feeling. And going back to World War I uh, is of course a controversial decision because the thing you know or the thing you think you know about World War I is that it's boring, slow, stale. But if you do some research, you will find out very soon that it was the opposite of yeah. all those things. It was a very, very interesting time of, you know, super fast technology advancements. You know, probably yeah. the biggest in the history of man. Actually, you started out with like horsebacks and swords, and you yeah. ended up with, you know, airships, tanks, and super advanced weapons. And most of the weapon types we have today was actually invented in this era. So we wanted to take that. Package and go back to the roots of what Battlefield is all about, the all-out war, and and show the world for the first time what World War One could be, what yeah. it could look like. Wow! Well, it looked incredible yesterday. You had the squads yeah. event, which people can watch on YouTube if you want yeah. to see that all again. Uh, last question for you is: I think you've talked a lot about kind of the multiplayer. We've yeah. seen mm -hmm. that campaign is something that I think fans always want to know. What are you guys doing there? It hasn't necessarily always been the strength of the franchise. Nope. Um, what can you tell us to make us confident that you guys are going to nail the campaign this time? Uh, first of all, we're trying not to talk too much about campaign okay. right now because, yeah. you know, and again, I don't want to sit there and do what you know we in this industry often do. We talk about what it will be yeah. rather than show what yeah. it is. Yep. Uh, so I will stay away from you know claiming that it will be this or that. Yeah. Um, I want to make sure that you know next time we show the world something, it should be playable and it should be some. No actual game footage. Yeah. Uh, what we're doing is actually we have a slightly different take on campaign than we've had in the past. Okay. Uh, it will be a more multi-story kind of setup mm -hmm. with multiple protagonists. But I won't go yeah. into details exactly what that is. But yeah. if you like the the, the multiplayer footage, uh, you and you can also see in the trailer yeah. uh, or in the trailers we have uh, some, hints, so, right? some hints on. Yeah the story or um, and some of the characters that we'll have. Okay. Well, you always have wild ideas in your mind of yes. how the story is going to come <laughs> together, and we cannot wait to see what you guys put together. Uh, clearly, I mean, you guys are working at the top of the industry in terms of production value mm. and uh, game design, so we can't wait to see more of it. Uh, Patrick Bach, it's always great to see you. Thank you Big very much. Big fan of everything you put together. All right, Thank well, uh, we got much more coming up here on